Welcome back. So I crafted even more Elix drinks uh, like of the camera and the reason why I want to see if there is achievement if you have all of the stats to 100. So I left cunning on 99 and now we'll see. Nope, there isn't. <laughs> and I got few uh, more skill points from Elix drinks so we can get all of this stuff and really doubt that we'll need radiation resistances but yeah there we go here we have everything we could find jonesy learn some combat if something is left and there's like something not important but interesting like there's no collision on on this thing like you can go through it <laughs> I wanted to stand on it uh, when I was starting the episode, but yeah, I went through it, so yeah. Totally not important random stuff. <laughs> hey, let's find Jonesy. He always moves around the camp, so... And annoying when you need to find him. Let's see where he is. Wait. Mark him. Hey, uh, we do not want companions, just trainers. Hey, that makes sense. I went to the teleporter instead of the, to the marker because they are kind of similar, but not the same. I don't see. Where are you? Okay, so we can get things that are left. So, yeah, like heavy weapons. Totally not important. Grenades definitely not important, but oh wow, I actually managed to like have it like exactly how many I needed. <laughs> With everything that's going on, you forget how beautiful it really is here. Hey, okay, so uh, because we proceeded to the next chapter, there's a chance that Ray will want to continue his quest, so let's try that. Is everything I don't know. Nope. Uh, there's a chance that Nasty also also will want to like have something else to do. You should always check with your companions. Crony sometimes gives you natural elix. Uh, I'm pretty sure their Eryx doesn't have anything for us, so yeah. We done the quest for him, there's like not a follow up there. Because we do not have it in the quest log, but I also know. So we'll see with Kaya and with Ray. And with Nasty later on. So let's do the quest that that we're kind of have. So let's speak to Zardom. Oh. Oh, well, this. Uh, uh, well, yeah, let's. Like, go through here, kill everything along the way and get to here. Or from here. The way, like... Hmm. Actually, the only road that you do not have to, like, climb the mountains, I think it's this one, so... Uh, yeah, like, from here, then we'll climb to the road and then go there. That's the idea. Okay. I wonder what this place used to be. By the way, guys, if the game kind of looks different uh, in the last few episodes, like the graphics and stuff, that is because I'm using a mod uh, to bring all the um, style of graphics uh, that was before the latest patch. And I got that from uh, Nexus mod Mods. Oh, 
to me the game looks better i mean maybe you like the blue stuff i mean it's not like it's like this is the earth and then everything should look like it's we are on, we are on the earth so yeah like anything that devs want to do with it like they decide how they want their game to look so yep Oh, there are so many mobs around here. Wait a second. We'll fight these guys. I've guessed I've missed like this pass here. I think I thought I explored like this area, but yeah. We'll see what this is. Let it be like something cool. Using sunglasses, so we'll see what we can find here. Hmm. You need some torches, so where are those? I think it's here. Yeah. I'm going to do instead of amplifier. Yeah, this is like not important to pick up. Let's see what we actually find like something more fun. Well, this is a disappointment. There's some gold veins. Yep. It is just goes around. Eh. I was hoping for something interesting. Hmm. Like, yeah, like, really didn't know that, that there was nice. like that stuff there. I'd like to spend some time here when all this is over. This won't work. This doesn't work. That isn't going to work. 
Yeah, there we go. We are where we need to be. I've got a bad feeling about this place. Even great men fall when the power of Elix is taken from them. Zardom, once trusted advisor to the first Alexander. And now here you are, out of Zaykor, separated from the Elix that gave you your powers. I spent many weeks in fever, haunted by visions as the Elix that had sustained me slowly drained away. But in the end, I have been able to find a way to live with it. Despite the withdrawal, Jax, I am all that I was, but you, Commander. Your appearance tells me it's not going well for you. Has the transition to emotion, to free thinking, unsettled the great Commander Jax? It's nothing I can't control. I don't have any reason to trust you. We are both renegades now cast out and hunted by our own people. We need to trust each other. Perhaps. My raider was shot down. Calix declared that I had failed my mission for the directive and so must be executed. But I still live, and I am searching for the truth of what happened to me. I hope you can help me discover what that truth is. You want my help with that? And what exactly is it that you think I can do? I need weapons, and a way to improve my fighting strength. Elix withdrawal has made both of us weak. You will need to spend your time and your strength wisely. Help me reach the Ice Palace. You know unauthorized access to the palace is impossible. Without the correct codes, you won't get past the first defensive wall. The automated defenses will kill you before you get close. Then I will give you the access codes. From who? Any Alb who identifies you as a renegade will attack you immediately. How will you get the access codes without fighting our own people? I right, so let's go with the answer that's going to increase our call. It's not not like going to matter that much but I want to see how he reacts to this because I did the other ones in uh, my other playthroughs and I'm really interested how the last one will like play out feelings and remorse are irrelevant they are soldiers if they die they die doing their duty that is our way determined and logical however the fact remains that you will need to lure soldiers from their positions in Zaykor Soldiers who are sent into the lands of the free people rarely carry the codes to the inner areas of the Ice Palace. But then you know that better than I do, Commander. The security of the Ice Palace matters greatly to the Albs. What would make the troops leave Zakor? The Directive, the Great Plan, and the highest goal of all Albs. Elix must continue to be extracted. They will only leave their fortifications in great numbers if something interferes with the directive. And the only way I can think of to stop the flow of Elix into the Ice Palace is to destroy or deactivate the converters. That makes sense. The converters are heavily guarded. I would expect so. But the influence of the Albs is not as strong as it once was in the lands of the Free People. Losses have been high, and the Free People have become more organized, at least within their factions. Some converters have maintenance issues or have been shut down, like the one in Idan. But none of that is helpful as long as enough Elix is still reaching the Ice Palace. Why were you exiled? You were an Alexiter, the highest rank and honor amongst our people, and yet you left Zaykor. Why? Tarek, the first Alexator, is following a course with the other Alexators that I cannot. His mind is clouded. He cannot see the bigger picture clearly anymore. And what is the bigger picture? You have spent enough time away from Zaykor. 
You must see the directive with different eyes now. But I put myself into exile so that I wouldn't have to discuss such things. Maybe one day the time to speak will come, but that is not today. I have found my place out here, and I will keep my peace. You cooperate with the free people? With some. They judge you for your deeds as an Alexator. They fear you? Yes. As I said, it was difficult at the beginning. There were some who recognized me. But I have kept my identity from most. I want to live in peace here. Tell me more about your past at the Ice Palace. I already told you. I have left that past behind me. You can't deceive me. You want to take power in the Ice Palace. What makes you believe that? The Separatist leader Sestak told me. So what is it that you want? Are you planning war against the hybrid? And you believe Sestak? His arguments were logical. And how am I supposed to wage war? One alb against Zekor? All I would gain is my own death. I have my new life here. That is what matters now. It's obvious that you are hiding something. You are more powerful than you appear. You speak of Elix withdrawal and the doubt that plagues you. But none of that fits your appearance, your confidence, or your character. So drop the lie. We both know the truth, Zardom. You didn't stop consuming Elix when you left Zekor. You found yourself a source somewhere, and you have kept your strength. You can still cast magic. I'm not the one pretending to be something I'm not, Commander. What are you really doing out here, Zardom? And what is it that you want, Jax? We all must find our own path as this world changes. So you do want to challenge the hybrid? Challenge? You say that as if it's unthinkable for an Alm. I think I have something. More traces of Elix? Yeah. But the deposit is close to an Al position in Zaycor. We should make sure we're properly equipped before we go looking for Elix there. Okay, let's first finish uh, with Zardom, then we'll do this. You may have lived your life in thrall to that machine, but the Albs existed before the hybrid took control. When the Albs searched for an identity, it was the hybrid that gave it to them. He gave us all worth through war. Don't pretend you want peace, Zardom. That I won't believe. The hybrid's last orders to you were to kill Thorold the Pilgrim, leader of the Berserkers, yes? But did he tell you why he ordered that? And who should rule the Alps? You? It seems many in Zekar are beginning to question the hybrid's rule. But none have given me answers. None have said what the hybrid's plan is, or how they think they can better it. What is it we've fought for, Zardom? Don't you at least want to know that? While first Alexator Tarek follows blindly, I want answers. But I tell you, the hybrid won't give them to you. He only wants power for himself, and it will be the ruin of our people. You're saying a lot, Zardom. But where is your proof? You know the directive requires all Elix must be delivered to the hybrid. He says he must reach the peak of evolution perfection to secure the future of our people. But what will be left of our world at the end of this war for Elix? All Elix means exactly that, all the Elix on Magellan. But do you think that the hybrid will ever be satisfied? What will happen when it has consumed all the Elix on Magellan? 
What then, Jax? So you think the hybrid is lying? That it has a different goal for the directive? I don't question his goal. I question our place in it. Do you believe that when the hybrid evolves, the Albs will serve at his side? After it has kept the truth and power for so long, that its drive for Elix will just stop? No, Jax. After we have exploited the lands of the free people, the hybrid will only have one source of Elix left. Us. The first Alexator, Tarek, is too blinded by the hybrid's promises to see that. But I know. I know that once he is done with the rest of this world, the hybrid will extract the remaining Elix from us. He will feed his evolution. If you want war, then where is your army? You were revered in the Ice Palace. How many Alps still follow you? None. My soldiers stayed in Zekor. Such is the power of Elix. Such is the power of the hybrid. It takes those with will to see the truth. But I'm not without power. I do have a force that is loyal to me. I have the strength to return to Zekor, to strike at the hybrid. If it isn't in Zekor, then where are these soldiers? I have told you my aims. I have told you that I have the resources to achieve them. For now, I will concentrate on building resources here in the lands of the free people. If you will play your part in the struggle that is to come, then I will tell you this. There is a camp in the mountains between Idan, Abessa, and Tavar. The people there are independent and fight for their own cause. They are a force waiting for a leader. You should seek them out. Perhaps there you can find what I have, a base of operations. Perhaps then you will see what I mean more clearly. You claim you are doing this for the Alms, but then you're prepared to kill them for your own cause? It is a sacrifice that is painful to all. But the hybrid has blinded many of our brothers. There is no way to free all Alms. But with the blood of those who serve the hybrid, those lives will save others. But you will need to decide who you will back soon. The hybrid has sent a force of combat mechs and soldiers to advance inland into northern Abessa. This force must be stopped. Otherwise, they will tip the balance of power in Abessa in favor of the hybrid. So, will you admit that you have kept the powers Elix gives you? If you think I can acquire enough Elix to maintain my own strength, you are mistaken. Yes, I continue to consume Elix, pure Elix, but I have only enough to reduce the impact of withdrawal. If you are looking for magic outside Zekor, then you will have to look to the Berserkers of Edan. Is Berserker magic as strong as the Alps magic? Some of them are very effective. Their mana has allowed the magic of Idan to evolve a lot of power. I heard of a mage in the domed city with the power to fight an Alexator, and as a berserker living beyond the borders of Idan, she might have a more open ear than those living under berserker law every day. How do you plan to attack Zekor? The only thing that would drive the hybrid soldiers from the Ice Palace is to stop the flow of Elix. The converter in northern Abessa is strategically important. If we could shut it down, that would show the Albs the limits of the hybrid's power. It would give us a chance to persuade others of our cause. Are you allied with the free people? Our cause in defeating the hybrid matches theirs, but I will do nothing to endanger the future of the Albs. Each of the factions has their own motives which could prove dangerous to our people. I heard that the Duke of Tavar is constructing a bomb that is so destructive it could destroy a city. What we don't know is his target, or how an outlaw has put together the technology capable of this. What if the Alexators and Zekor learn of your plans? Sooner or later, the Alexators track down every Alb outcast. The question is whether or not we can survive until we are strong enough to be able to defend ourselves. Do you think you have the strength to fight an Alexator? No, not at present. And you should know that an Alexator has been seen near the domed city. I think he has picked up your tracks. How do you know that? 
You've hardly been discreet. But he only has suspicions that you survived. He has no proof for now. I would suggest you take care of him before he learns you really are alive. If the Alexators were to discover that you live, then they would concentrate their powers against you. Now you know my thoughts. And it is time for you to tell me your plans. What is it that you want? I want the person who got me into this situation. I want Kallax. For what? Revenge? Your brother doesn't want anything to do with you. He sees you as a traitor. He will kill you the first chance he gets. Well, uh, one of the first or the second one. Mm, let's go with the first one. He won't get the chance. And how will you get close enough to speak to him? He is protected by a whole unit of soldiers in combat mechs. I will find a way. Well, maybe I can help you, Jax. Support me in my cause and I will make sure that you reach Kallax. You think you can do that? Yes. And... You know I am your best option. I recommend that you take my offer. You will have my support, but you will have to deliver Kallax. Then help me achieve the things I need to turn the balance of power back in our favor. Help me shut down those converters and make the preparations you need to. Do that, and I will tell you how you can lure Kallax to you. For my part, I will order my forces to infiltrate Zekor. I want a better idea of what is happening in the Ice Palace and the readiness of its defense systems. I will see you back here once you have completed your tasks. I have taken command of Origin. Then you can see the value of my advice. That place makes an excellent base for you, doesn't it? The free people are strong when they are well led. And now you have won that group over, perhaps others will follow. Good, but I get the feeling you have more to tell me. I have recruited a powerful mage from amongst the Berserkers. Her name is Kaya. Good. And were you able to win her over to our cause? She wouldn't have come here otherwise. So, this is her. Well, I hope the stories of her powers are true. The Berserker mage Kaya will help us. So, you are the powerful mage I have heard of. Do you want a demonstration? No. Jax's word is enough to vouch for you. We will need to call upon you when we face the Alexators. Good. Was there anything else to report? The converter in Northern Abessa has been deactivated. Well, that was faster than I expected. No doubt the Ice Palace will be considering their response. Good. Do you have anything else to tell me? The Duke of Tavar's bomb was really a fighting machine. He developed it with a cleric prisoner the aim of attacking the Horde in Ignodon. Developed? Does that mean the danger is now gone? Yes. Good. Then we have one less threat to worry about. You have made progress, but there are still things to be done. I will be here waiting for you once you have completed the tasks. We should go. It's dangerous here. Hey, there's a bed here in the back. Should, like, play the game in the night, but... I don't know. I like it we during the day. Up and get out of here and fast. Hey, so we got a few more quests from Zardom, and we need to like fight some Alps and get Rapox. Rap Rapox. I think that's how how his name should be pronounced. And we also have uh, the quest for Kaya now. So let's do the one with Kaya. I know Zekor. I'm ready to go there. All right. We're close to the Elix, and I know we're close to answers. The Elix. I can hear it everywhere. It's overwhelming. That must be the Elix the Alps have collected in the Ice Palace. There must be huge amounts of it there. And yet, for all their efforts, they have missed a concentration of Elix here in Zaycor. I'll follow the trail, but I will need you to watch my back again, okay? Come on, I want to get out of here as quickly as we can. 
I feel like using this weapon now a bit. I mean, both builds, like, just using the ranged weapon or using all of the stuff that they have in uh, melee weapon is pretty cool. Either way. Kaya went without us, so let's follow her. Yeah, we have like a whole bunch of ammo, so... We will have to get up there somehow, I'm afraid. Stay close to me. We aren't alone. So I do not really care if I'm using full auto. Definitely not the best mode if you want to save ammo. <laughs> yeah. Kinda prefer the burst mode, but I want to go a bit crazy with full, with full auto. Should be like a weapon here. Yeah, come on, scammer. Cold. Bitterly cold. More than usual for this place. We must be in the right place. Just give me some space. I'll try to make this quick. Okay, I'm ready. That was difficult. The elix here is... polarized. Close to the elix that's been refined. As if it had been processed by ALB converters. What does that mean? Conscious or not, the elix is changing us. The elix in Adan is polarized one way. It's similar to mana. I hadn't felt that before, but I can now. Especially now I can feel how similar the Elix here is to processed Elix. The Elix in Zaycor is different from the Elix in Adan? Yeah. We've picked up on these differences and made more Elix that's the same. I think it changes our thoughts, too. Rational, emotional? It's tuned to us and us to it. Processed, organized here. Raw, unaligned mana in Adan. That elix changes the people it interacts with. Do you know of any other elix deposits like this? I'm not sure yet. Let me think about it. I'll see if I can sense anything. About the side effects of elix. Yeah? 
Here, I have some mana for you. Thank you. Not hey, bad. let's wrap up the other quest. Dude, let's do the Zardom, uh, uh, like, Repox, Repox, Elexator. Should be in a Bessa. Yep. Okay, so. This might be closer, but I kind of like walking on this road here. I have a torch there. I think. I think we should speak first to him. So, then the rumors are true. Commander Jax, you're still alive. A Lexeter Repox, I assume. You were nothing more than an ammunition carrier when I was still commander. And now you're nothing. And my death helped you improve your position within the Ice Palace. Loyalty counts. There are those who saw your downfall coming. They were proved right. And you just happened to get promoted. Should I think that's a coincidence? I still can't understand why you betrayed the hybrid. I was the one who was betrayed. Keep telling yourself that. So, how should we do this? Will you stand there and accept your fate? Or will you fight for your life? I'm not dying until I've had answers. What will Kallax say when I report to him that I've corrected his failure of your execution? Your brother will be done for. It will not come to that. What is dead should stay dead. This won't work. Yeah, that buff wasn't like 100% necess necessary for this. I mean, Kaya got him like in no time. Yeah, let's take care of the other like Alps or Zardom's plan. Yeah, there are like a whole bunch of them there. Uh, it's not going to be that hard. Not good. Not good at all. We are way OP. So yeah. Zaycor. Frozen. Dead. <laughs> Death will come quickly if we aren't careful here. Okay, this is going to be fun. This 
doesn't work. fun. I really wanted to try like some bigger battle with melee range as a cleric. It's definitely fun. But I think berserkers kinda maybe tiny bit better but clerics have more utility. Berserkers more damage, clerics more utility. That isn't going to work. This won't work. Oh no, that stupid stasis. Yeah, that wasn't that hard. Let's loot everything. Go for these guys. Let's restore our HP. We've used uh, the gun. <laughs> Let's hit the five so we can report to Zardom. And I guess we'll end it there and continue the other quest that we'll get in the next video. So let's report to this stuff. The Ob Force in Northern Abessa has been defeated. Good. That was vital. We could not afford a shift of power in Abessa. Good. Do you have anything else to tell me? The Alexeter Repox is dead. Then perhaps your secret can be kept a little longer. You have done good work, Commander. You have assisted our cause greatly. But the hybrid must have realized by now that there is a new threat that he must consider. He used to be preoccupied by the mages in Edan. Do you have any idea why he feared them? I was hoping you could tell me, Jax. He tasked you with finding the pilgrim Thorold. Did you learn anything that could explain the hybrid's fear? I didn't complete my mission. I was shot down before I could reach the pilgrim. And it seems that the hybrid has not succeeded in completing this mission since then. He still hasn't found the Pilgrim, even though he seems to feel that the Berserkers transmuting Elix is the biggest threat to Zekor. Perhaps the Hybrid is right that the Free People are the true threat. Are you still to be convinced that the Hybrid must be stopped? What proof is needed to open your eyes to the danger of Zekor? Whatever the future holds, I am certain that Thorold is the key. His knowledge could mean victory or defeat in this war. I think that Thorold is seeking a way to change Elix without the need to take it to that shrine in Goliath. And if he can achieve that, then the hybrid risks losing vast amounts of Elix. Yes, and after all, the hybrid is demanding all the Elix in Magellan. Imagine the effect on him if the Berserkers were to take huge quantities of it, turning it into mana before he can consume it. The hybrid could never allow that. It would destroy his plans, and it would empower the Berserkers. While the Albs lose power, they would gain. It's easy to imagine what they would do with our people then. The Ice Palace would fall, and the Albs would be exterminated. We cannot allow that. 
Oh, we have one of those like cancers where we need cold values, but like we cannot choose this one. We can choose one of these. Mm, so this one, I think I chose this one with outlaws. Let's uh, try the last one. No, we cannot allow that. Yes, that is the true will. The will of a leader. But words and deeds are separate. You must finish your old mission and secure Thorold's knowledge. The fate of us all depends on it. You keep saying it all depends on me, but what about you? Where is your support? What are you doing to stop the hybrid? If you want my help, you must prove your side of things to me. I want to see this force you're talking about. As you wish. You should know who you are dealing with. Mutants. All that remains of the creatures that once lived in the old world. Elix brings strength to those with the will to tame. It makes a slave of all others. So, this is Zardo's army. He has retained his power to control mutants. He can force these creatures to do his bidding. I wonder what other power Zardo is having. But, he's right. While our paths are aligned, I should make use of that. I must learn more of the hybrid's plans. If I can't do that for his allies, I should find the enemy he feared the most. The one I was sent to find. Thorold, the pilgrim. What is it he knows that the hybrid wants kept hidden? Mutants, so that's your force. So, you see, I might not command my soldiers any longer, but I do have a force to be reckoned with. Now, you must play your part and discover the purpose of Thorold's research. That wasn't a good move. How did you get the mutants to follow you? I retained control of them when I left Zekor. As long as they get the elix they crave, then they will follow the orders sent to their chips. I know where to find that elix, and I know how to command. They will obey me when the day comes to fight. Teach me how to control the mutants. No. You have your job, and I have mine. Focus on the task you have been given. What is it that you want, Zardom? Do you want to lead the Albs when the Hybrid is defeated? This is not just a war against the Hybrid. The Alexators are his disciples. Once the Hybrid is gone, we must see what the Alexators do. And if they remain loyal to the Hybrid? Then they must pay the consequences for that decision. So you want the Alexators dead, too? If that is the only way to save our people. And who will lead the Albs with the hybrid and the Alexiders gone? We will only know that in good time. When we see who survives the war to come. You are avoiding the question. And you are wasting our time, Jax. What matters now is removing the hybrid. All other questions can be answered after that. Until you complete your tasks and the hybrid is defeated, what do such questions matter? That is what we shall discover, Zardom. What should I do once I know Thorold's plans? First, we shall have to learn them. Then we will see how we can use that knowledge against the hybrid. I want to know why the hybrid fears transmuted Elix. What effect do you think it would have on him if he was to consume it? I don't know. But we would have to get close to the hybrid to be able to make him do that. That wasn't a good move. You should face the hybrid. That wasn't a good move. Yeah, Kaya doesn't like what we chosen there. But I want to see how Zardom really react. He wanted to choose cold in this playthrough. So, Torald is... Uh, yeah, somewhere around here. So, I'll teleport here. Actually, not here. Uh, we want to go here. Abandoned cliffs. Uh, what is being super annoying? This thing? This thing is stuck, I think. Hey, so let's teleport. 
All that technology, and yet they built such ugly buildings. So, there is Thorold. So, we'll end it here and speak to Thorold in the next video. Guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoy the videos, uh, make sure you like it and subscribe. You know what to do. And see you in the next one.